just checking in real quick on this race car build. Um, all the heavy work seems to be pretty close to being done. Uh, you can see all the uh, seam welding has been done over there. The whole car is seam welded now, so that's complete. Right here, I've got the mount plates for the roll bar down tubes, the ones that come to the rear. These holes right here are where the rear shocks are going to mount. There'll be a tube that stands on top of these mount plates, and then the bars will come into those tubes. Uh, it's a pretty slick little setup. So, you know, cutting those plates uh, and fitting them and welding them in was um, not too terrible. It was pretty straightforward. As we look, you can see to the right side there that the roll cage is going back into the car. Up there, all of the holes in the uh, firewall have been blocked off. They've been uh, plates welded on them in the... Uh, module there in the middle of the car is the engine processor, the engine control module or powertrain control module, Ford calls it. It's been relocated. A lot of the wiring is gone. The harness is probably about 60% of the way complete. I'm just waiting for the uh, dash bar to go back in uh, and then I can figure out where the steering column is going to be, where the instrument cluster is going to be, and I can finish shortening up the circuits that I'm keeping, finish uh, eliminating anything that I don't need. Automatic transmission is off the back of the engine. We're ready to start swapping the uh, manual transmission pieces and parts into it. Uh, you got a new slave, cylinder, new flywheel, clutch, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that transmission came out of a wrecking yard. That cost me 90 bucks to pull that out. And uh, I'll be using the shift cables and stuff like that out of a wrecking yard car as well. Pulled all the front suspension back out once everything was fit and made sure everything's good. And now the front cradle is also out of the car. So the car is really basically just a shell at this point. Uh, clean up all that uh, firewall there, remove a bunch of miscellaneous metal and sound deadening and then coat of paint on it. And then we'll start putting all of the um, the cradle, front suspension, engine transmission, and all of that back into the car. So that's where it's at. Um, I think really good progress. We really have turned the corner. I'm ready to start building this thing. Not 100% sure we're going to make that target of end of March, but I do think we'll still potentially make the first race. car won't be painted, but it should be running and driving and should be able to get it out and shake it down at... Uh, Pikes Peak International Raceway here in mid-April. So that's it. Catch up with you later.